So let's take a few minutes to explore our base and talk to everyone. This, um, yeah, disclaimer I will just run around and talk to everyone, so if you're not into that, you might want to skip. But if you are into that, that like me, me this would be amazing. Huh. Look who's back from the dead again. Dead Matt. I don't recall meeting you before. I'd be surprised if you did. You weren't particularly coherent. Someone had to patch you up after you staggered out of making those wear, though. So, you're welcome. Uh, I've had better days. <laughs> it has been a rough few days. <laughs> That's an understatement. And more ahead if the weather is any indication. Name's Adan. I'm in charge of keeping our little band here stocked with potions and elixirs. Not that Seeker Pentagast seems to care whether we've got the supplies to actually do that. Uh, you're a bit cranky. But for a healer, you don't seem particularly nurturing. I'm not a healer. I'm an alchemist who's forced to play Mother Hen. You want something to burst into flame on contact with the air? Done. Glad. Patching up wounded soldiers is a waste of my time and talents. But there are a few around who can help. <laughs> How are things? How are your people holding up? There's no shortage of work. That's for damn sure. Okay. Need any help? Is there anything I can do to help out? We're fine as far as raw labor goes. You've more important things to do than tend to me. I only wish I'd been able to find Martha Tajan's notes. Old bastard was working on something special. He died at the conclave, and his notes weren't here. Been too busy dealing with the wounded to look for them. Hmm. I guess I could. Um. Farewell. I guess I could get that for you. Equip potions. Generation potion. Eh. Perhaps another time. I'll probably get that later. Healing potion. Need more alphabets. <laughs> I have three. <laughs> Need to work on that. Oh, this. I'll take everything. Oh, Solos. Hello. The Chosen of Andraste. A, ble a blessed hero sent to save us all. Sounds dashing. <laughs> Am I riding in on a shining steed? I would have suggested the Griffon. But sadly, they're extinct. Joke as you will, posturing is necessary. I've journeyed deep into the fade in ancient ruins and battlefields to see the dreams of lost civilizations. I've watched as hosts of spirits clash to reenact the bloody past in ancient wars, both famous and forgotten. Every great war has its heroes. I'm just curious what kind you'll be. Uh, it's the day ancient ruins. What do you mean, ruins <coughs> and battlefields? Any building strong enough to withstand the rigors of time has a history. Every battlefield is steeped in death. Both attract spirits. They press against the veil, veil, weakening the barrier between our worlds. When I dream in such places, I go deep into the fade. I can find memories no other living being has ever seen. Interesting. I can sleep there. You fall asleep in the middle of ancient ruins. Isn't that dangerous? I do set wards. And if you leave food out for the giant spiders, they are usually content to live and let live. That's impressive. I've never heard of anyone going so far into the Fade. That's extraordinary. Thank you. It's not a common field of study, for obvious reasons. Not so flashy as throwing fire or lightning. The thrill of finding remnants of a thousand-year-old dream? I would not trade it for anything. <laughs> I will stay there. At least until the breach has been closed. Was that in doubt? I am an apostate surrounded by Chantry forces in the middle of a mage rebellion. Cassandra has been accommodating, but you understand my caution. Ah, uh, Cassandra will protect you. Cassandra trusts you. She won't let anyone put you into a circle against your will. Thank you. 
I appreciate the thought. I won't. But now let us well, go find the mages or the Templars have the power to seal the breach. <laughs> hmm. It makes all so lovely our dialogue. The is our primary goal. But I hope we might also discover what was used to create it. Any artifact of such power is dangerous. The destruction of the Conclave proved that much. You think it survived? You don't think whatever created the explosion was destroyed in the blast? You survived, did you not? The artifact that created the breach is unlike anything seen in this age. I will not believe it destroyed until I see the shattered fragments with my own eyes. Uh... Yeah, sure. I agree. We would do well to try to recover whatever created the breach. Liliana's people have scoured the area near the blast and found nothing. Whatever the artifact was, it is no longer there. In any case, did you need me for anything? Investigates. Tell me about the Fade. What do you know about the Fade? A great deal, to my wondering. There are few hard facts, but I can share what I have learned. Tell me about the Breach. I'd like to know more about the Breach. Simply put, it is a tear in the veil between this world and the Fade, allowing spirits to enter the world physically. Small tears occur naturally when magic weakens the veil, or when spirits cluster at an area that has seen many deaths. Your mark allows you to exert some control over the breach. That means it was created deliberately. Controlled by that guy we saw. Tell me about the veil. I'd like to know more about the veil. Circle mages call it a barrier between this world and the Fade. But according to my studies in ancient elven lore, that is a vast oversimplification. Without it, imagine if spirits entered free. The Fade was not a place one went, but a state of nature like the wind. Uh, that sounds strange. <laughs> I don't know if I can imagine that. Try. Imagine don't disapprove at my ignorance. Of our natural world. Like a fast-flowing river. Yes, it can drown careless children, but it can also carry a merchant's goods or grind a miller's flour. That is what the world could be if the veil were not present. For better or worse. Tell me about demons. I'd like to know more about demons. The Chantry says that demons hate the natural world and seek to bring their chaos and destruction to the living. But such simplistic labels misconstrue their motivations and in so doing, do all a great disservice to the spirits that wish to join the living. And the demon is that wish gone wrong. Uh, can we change that? Is there a way to coexist? To live with them, if not in peace, at least without such active confrontation? Today, the veil creates a barrier that makes true understanding most unlikely. But the question is a good one, and it matters of the sort you ask. Thank you. We'll talk later. Goodbye. I think we had one more Greetings. thing, right? Uh, tell me about I'd yourself. I'd like to know more about you, Solus. Why? <laughs> I respect you. Do I, ne do I need reason? Why not? <laughs> Concern about the direction of this Inquisition once our work is done? Then don't tell me. I wasn't asking as part of the Inquisition. I'm sorry. There's so much fear in the air. What would you know of me? You're sorry, but you still disapprove. Why study the Fade? What made you start studying the Fade? I grew up in a village to the north. There was little to interest the young man, especially one gifted with magic. But as I slept, Spirits of the Fade showed me glimpses of wonders I had never imagined. It treasured my dreams. Being awake, out of the Fade, became troublesome. That was the hideous. Did spirits try to tempt you? No more than a brightly colored fruit was deliberately tempting me to eat it. I learned how to defend myself from more aggressive spirits, and how to interact safely with the rest. I learned how to control my dreams with full consciousness. I guess a brightly coloured fruit won't try to kill you if you eat it, though. I gather you didn't spend your entire life dreaming. No. Eventually, I was unable to find new areas in the Fade. Why? Two reasons. First, the Fade reflects the world around it. Unless I travelled, I would never find anything new. Second, the Fade reflects and is limited by our imagination. 
find interesting areas, one must be interested. <laughs> Is that why you're here? Is this why you joined the Inquisition? I joined the Inquisition because we were all in terrible danger. If our enemies destroy the world, I would have nowhere to lay my head while dreaming of the Fade. Weird, <laughs> but good for you. Well, God. it's not the worst reason I've heard to go out and enjoy life. Keep disappearing. In truth, I have enjoyed experiencing more of life to find more of the faith. How so? You train to flick a dagger or an arrow to its target. The grace with which you move is a pleasing side benefit. You have chosen a path whose steps you do not dislike because it leads to a destination you enjoy. As have I. Hmm, that kind of makes sense. Where have you studied? You said you've travelled to many different places. This world, or its memory, is reflected in the faith. Dream in ancient ruins, and you may see a city lost to history. Some of my fondest memories were found in crumbling cities, long picked dry by treasure seekers, the best of the battlefields. Spirits press so tightly on the veil they can slip across with but a thought. Which battlefields? Any place in particular. I dreamt at Ostagar. I witnessed the brutality of the Darkspawn and the valor of the Ferelden warriors. I saw Alistair and the hero Ferelden light the signal fire. Logan's infamous betrayal of Kaelin's forces. Tell me what happened. I've heard the stories. It would be interesting to hear what it was really like. That's just it. In the Fade, I see reflections created by spirits who react to the emotions of the warriors. One moment, I see heroic wardens lighting the fire and a power mad villain sneering as he lets King Kaelin fall. The next, I see an army overwhelmed and a veteran commander refusing to let more soldiers die in a lost cause. And you can't tell which is real? It is the Fade. They are all real. Sounds like Logan was an also. Oh, that's not an option. Uh, do you work with anyone? Have you always travelled and studied alone? Not at all. I have built many lasting friendships. Spirits of wisdom, possessed of ancient village, happy to share what they had seen. Spirits of purpose helped me search. Even wisps, curious and playful, would point out treasures I might have missed. Wisdom and purpose? I don't know of any spirits by those names. They rarely seek this world. When they do, their natures do not often survive exposure to the people they encounter. Wisdom and purpose are too easily twisted to pride and desire. Those are demon names. You're saying that you became friends with pride and desire demons? They were not demons. Meaning? The fade reflects the mind of the living. If you expect a spirit of wisdom to be a pride demon, it will adapt. And if your mind is free of corrupting influences, if you understand the nature of the spirit, they can be fast friends. Can they be your friends? You trust these spirits not to possess you the first time you accidentally make a wish. Do you trust your friends not to turn on you? Well, yes, but then... Uh, well... Well, you know what I mean. Our people only people because they are flesh and blood. Is Cassandra defined by her cheekbones and not her face? Varric by his chest hair and not his waist. <laughs> but his chest, though. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you need body. I'm not arguing. Spirits lack free will. Do they, though? I don't know. I guess spirits are people. I hadn't thought about it that way. But I see your point. I. Thank you. Few are willing to entertain such a notion. Well, I am extremely we'll open-minded. Thank you for this talk. Anything of interest in your house that I can rob of you? Oh, that's found. Oh. Oh. So, a book. Right. Let's find our next victim. More books. Lisa. Forget your Ah. Farewell. That's nothing Farewell. interesting. Only a guide. Oh, Varric. Hello. So, now that Cassandra's out of earshot. Are you holding up all right? 
I mean, you go from I mean, being the most wanted criminal in Thetis to joining the armies of the faithful. Most people would have spread that out over more than one day. Yeah, that is kind of crazy. Sadness, happiness, no farm. <laughs> this is all bullshit. <laughs> can barely keep up. I'm just glad to be alive, I guess. I'm just glad I'm still standing after all that. I still can't believe you survived Cassandra. You're lucky you were out cold for most of her frothing rage. For days now, we've been staring at the breach, breach, watching demons and maker knows what fall out of it. Bad for morale would be an understatement. I still can't believe anyone was in there and lived. Why did you stay? If it was that bad, why did you stay? Cassandra said you were free to go. I like to think I'm as selfish and irresponsible as the next guy, but this... Thousands of people died on that mountain. I was almost one of them. And now there's a hole in the sky. Even I can't walk away and just leave that to sort itself out. Mm. It hasn't sunk in yet. I'm still not sure I believe any of this is really happening. If this is all just as a baker winding us up, I hope there's a damn good punchline coming. You might want to consider running at the first opportunity. I've written enough tragedies to recognize where this is going. Heroes are everywhere. I've seen that. But the hole in the sky, I... That's beyond heroes. We're going to need a miracle. Right. Well, let's learn more about you. Need something? I have questions about Hawk. I read your tale of the champion, and Is I have this the questions. opportunity to <laughs> um, see your choices in action? Where are Hawk's friends? Where are the rest of Hawk's associates now? Merrill decided to look after the elves left homeless by the fighting. She's done a pretty good job of keeping them away from the mages and templars so far. I guess she has plenty of practice avoiding stupid human battles with her old Dalish clan. Fenris has kept himself busy, hunting down the Tevinter slavers who came south to prey on the refugees. I'm not sure exactly where he is at the moment. You can usually follow the trail of corpses, though. Isabella went back to the raiders. She's calling herself an admiral now. I don't know if she's actually in charge or just has a really big hat. Might be the same thing, honestly. Hmm. Sebastian went back to Starkhaven. I'm sure he's boring all sorts of people there. Last I knew, Hawk's sister Bethany was doing something with Wardeny near the Anderfeld border. Aveline is still guard captain. I'm pretty sure Kurtwall would fall into the sea if she quit her job. Okay. Need something? Uh. Tell me about Red Lyrium. Red Lyrium we found at the temple seemed to upset you. My brother Bartrand and I sort of discovered Red Lyrium's Lyrium during an expedition in the Deep Rose. We located an ancient tide, so old it barely looked dwarven. There was this idol there made of it. Bartrand brought it back to the surface, and, well, everything's gone downhill from there. Investigate. What is it exactly? So what is it? Just another kind of Lyrium. The red stuff is Lyrium like a dragon is a lizard. It's not just a different color. It has a whole host of weirdness all its own. I've written to every mining cast house in Orzammar. No one's seen this stuff before or knows where it came from. Hmm. What can it do? What makes it special? Regular lyrium can mess you up pretty badly, but you have to ingest it for that to happen. Red lyrium messes with your mind when you're just near the stuff. You hear singing, get violent, paranoid. And then, it does creepy shit, makes things float, brings statues to life. It also turned Kirkwall's Night Commander to Lyrium. Everyone's been kept at least a hundred paces from it since. Why was it in the temple? How did the Red Lyrium get in the Temple of Sacred Ashes? I don't know. So as far as I knew, the only piece to make it to the surface was destroyed. And the location of the Taig it came from is a secret. Did someone find more of it in the deep roads? That's <coughs> not a cheery thought. Nope. That's enough for now. Yeah, not really my favorite subject. 
Let's ask that of you as well before we move on. Can I ask you something, Barrick? You want to talk about me? I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. How do you know Cassandra? How do you and Cassandra know each other? You heard about the Kirkwall Chantry being destroyed? The guy responsible used to be a friend of mine. The Seeker had questions quest about that. And I had answers. Where are you from? Are you from Ferelden? Or Lane? Free marches. Born and raised in Kirkwall. And despite whatever you've heard, no. Kirkwall's not that bad. Well... What do you do? I'm not clear on your line of work. You're a merchant? I'm a businessman. My family has a seat in the Dwarven Merchants Guild. Merchants buy and sell goods. Businessmen buy and sell swords. In my spare time, I manage a spy network and occasionally I write books. <laughs> spy network? What shops do you own? What sort of shops do you own? Actually, we don't own shops. That was just an example. Mostly we invest in money lenders. Auction houses, a few mercenary companies, a couple of smithies. I think we own half a beet plantation in Ravane somewhere. Most of that's my brother's doing. Bartrand has business sense. Not much tact, but loads of business sense. Hmm. Could you do Liliana's job? If you've run a spy network, why is Liliana our spy master? To be Probably honest, because she's better. Yeah. Better spy master. The truly great ones can keep their distance. They don't get attached to their people. Me, I always wind up babysitting my informants and worrying about their families. We're in better hands with her. What books do you write? You're an author. What kind of books have you written? I've tried my hand with a few genres. My crime serials are my most popular. Hard in Hightown, guards breaking the rules to get things done. The Tale of the Champion, the most famous thing I've written, or infamous maybe. I started a romance serial once, Swords and Shields, but to be honest, I don't have a knack for hmm. romances. Most of my story might end in tragedy. Probably that. Oh, the innuendo, Swords and Shields. Tell me about the crossbow. Where did you get that crossbow? I've never seen one like it. Bianca? She's one of a kind. I got her off a guy in Darktown. Took me a week to pry his dead fingers off the stock. Why Bianca? Who is she named for? I can't tell you. Uh, why not? And the reason for that is? Complicated. It's the one story I'll never tell. We just have to leave it at that. Right. That's all for now. Thanks, Barrick. No problem. I never actually liked Bianca. I just found it annoying that I can't upgrade it at all. Hello. Are you a merchant, I guess? Ah, you're awake and out of Lady Cassandra's clutches. And here I paid that little night beer to inform me the moment, me the moment you were free. No matter, no matter. Segret, honored to meet you. Thank you for all you've done, and hopefully we'll still do. I appreciate that. Like you making a profit. <laughs> Ideally, while wearing and wielding gear purchased here, yes? Precisely. Anything you need is yours. For a reasonable price, of course. Supplies are a little tight, given the circumstances. Okay. Why have you what stayed? kind of person stays to run a shop at a time like this? The kind with nowhere else to go. Those blasted demons destroy most of my goods. If I stay here, work some contacts, I can start rebuilding. Maybe, just maybe, help you folks out in the process. Okay. Until later. Stay safe. That should be it. Whoops. Let's go out here. I seem to spy something. If the Inquisition wants to field the decent cavalry, it needs better horses. I heard Seeker Pentacles oh. might try to acquire suitable mounts for Master Dennis in the hinterlands. Hello. And who are you? Expected you'd be by. I'm Harry. And everyone knows who you are. 
How's the new gear fit? Ah, quite well, I guess. Sturdy and warm. It's perfect. Perfect. Good. World's gone mad. Stock armor and blades are good against bandits, but we're not fighting bandits. My gear will see you through demons, apostates, whatever this world throws at you. So, you need custom work. Something special. You bring the materials to us, we'll make it happen. Okay. What can we make here? What can you and your team make here? Arms and armor. We work iron for blighted dragon bones, if you've got it. Our designs are simple, but they get the job done. You want something fancy? Bring your own design. We'll see what we can do. So I can probably craft armor here, I guess. Uh, what's your story? How did you come to be here? Come from a little town called Lothry. Long gone now. I was in Regulus hmm. when the Darkspawn hit it during the blast. I seem to remember Elf you, but I can't left really place you. It was time to hand the place over to the bloody mages. Ended up here. Just missed the boom. Can't decide if I'm the luckiest son of a bitch walking or the exact opposite. Are you the smith that uh, I rescued your daughter for, maybe? That might be... You're still it walking. might be him. That's always good. Always good. True enough. Investigate. Uh, the outfit that trades. Who outfits the Inquisition soldiers? Not me. I've got work to do. Can't be passing a sword to every blighter who signs up. If you want to help the troops, talk to Thren, the quartermaster. She'll set up requisitions. I guess it's just Goodbye. tutorials for right. now. Uh, right. That's it. Did we miss anything? I can grab. I guess we can go and grab that. It's the book or whatever the apothecary wanted. Oh, hello. See reason. Yes. We cannot say. Who are you? Tell me about the Templars. I love your take on the Templar Order. It's a shadow of what it was. Where once we both protected all people from the dangers of magic, we now posture and grab at power. One day, I hope the circles are again sanctuaries where mages can practice their craft. You're staying here in Haven. You're not going to rejoin the Order. When the temple went up, your forces rescued those few of us still alive. My life is a debt I intend to repay. However, I can. What happened with at the conclave? Do you have any idea what caused the explosion? No, I'm just a recruit. Belief and faith doesn't get you closer to the important meeting. Though that distance did save my life. Right. Goodbye. I'll talk to you later. Walk in the eh. of grace. Probably not to talk to you again, but oh. ah, I guess I can grab you. Come on! Uh, it's ready to search. Might be something here. Better take a closer look. In here? Is it the book, perhaps? Yeah, that's what we searched for. Cool. Whoops. <laughs> Let's go back. We'll give him the notes, and then we can go into the war room. And, um... Whoa! <laughs> that happened. Only the Just do a quick search here so we don't miss anything. So we don't have to do this again. It's nothing. Hello? No one? In uh, uh, here? Nope. Don't assume anything. Oh, let's.
something else. Hello. Hey, the quartermaster. Now, my lady, I don't know where the other nobles are. I suggest you ask Ambassador Montillier. Oh, you're her. Thryn. Inquisition quartermaster. I'm doing what I can to supply this mess. If you find what I need to fill one of my requisitions, I'd appreciate you bringing it in. Right. Uh, what's your job? What do you do here? I make sure the Inquisition troops have food in their bellies and iron in their hands. Both are important. Lots of people expecting us to be heroes, marching all day to fight the demons. Turns out heroes need to dig latrines just like everyone else. Mm. How did you end up here? How does someone end up as quartermaster for the Inquisition? I served for Elden under Ten Logan McTeer, best commanding officer this world has ever seen. Uh... After they all turned on him at Denerim, though, there wasn't much use for people who held that opinion. Queen Honora offered her services to the Inquisition. It was a kindness. She knew I supported her father and got me away from the political garbage. I'm glad you believed in him. No wonder you're so unpopular. With that attitude, I can't imagine how you made enemies in Denerim. People just don't want to hear the truth. <laughs> I was at Ostagar, at Ostagar, and I know. Well, what I happened. too was at King Ostagar. King Cain overextended his position. And the Grey Wardens were too late lighting a signal. Following the original plan would have gotten everyone killed. Ten Loghain made the right decision. I apologize. Sister Liliana told me I shouldn't talk about this. Forget it. I call bullshit. Let's leave. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Uh. Well, that wasn't. Anything? Oh. Right. Wait, did I miss something? I probably have a quest here. Oh, this thing maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll deal with that later. For now, let's go in. Does it trouble you? Hmm. Then more. <sighs> it's fine. Not really. What's important is that your mark is now stable, as is the breach. You've given us time, and Solas believes the second attempt might succeed. Provided the mark has more power. The same level of power used to open the breach in the first place. That is not easy to come by. Uh, sounds like fun. <laughs> what harm could there be in powering up something we barely understand? Hold on to that sense of humor. Yeah. May I present Commander Cullen? Leader of the Inquisition forces. I remember you. Such as they are. We lost many soldiers in the <coughs> battle, and I fear many more before this is through. This is Lady Josephine Montelier, our ambassador and chief diplomat. I've heard much. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. And of course, you know Sister Liliana. My position here involves here a degree of... She is our spy master. Yes, tactfully put, Cassandra. Impressive titles. That's an impressive bunch of titles. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve us as well. We need power, Commander. Enough magic poured into that mark. Might destroy us all. Templars could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. I know what they're capable of. Hmm. Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition, 
and you, so we have to choose between the mages and templars again, I guess. That was quick. That didn't take long. Shouldn't they be busy arguing over who's going to become divine? Some are calling you the Herald of Andraste, and that frightens the champion. The remaining clerics have declared it blasphemy, and we heretics for harboring them. Chancellor Roderick's doing, no doubt. It limits our options. Approaching the mages or the Templars for help is currently out of the question. Uh, Herald of Andraste. Just how am I the Herald of Andraste? People saw what you did at the temple, how you stopped the breach from growing. They have also heard about the woman seen in the rifts when we first found you. They believe that was Andraste. Even if we tried to stop that view from spreading, which we have not. <laughs> the point is, everyone is talking it's, about you. It's quite the title, isn't it? How do you feel about that? I don't know, actually. I don't know. I'm not sure how I should feel. The Chantry has decided that for you, it seems. People are desperate for a sign of hope. For some, you're that sign. And to others, a symbol of everything that's gone wrong. Um, so the breach doesn't worry them. They aren't more concerned about the breach, the real threat. They do know it's a threat, but they just don't think we can stop it. The Chantry is telling everyone you'll make it work. <laughs> there is something you can do. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. She is not far and knows those involved far better than I. Her assistance could be invaluable. Uh, why would she help us? Why would someone from the Chantry help a declared heretic? I understand she's a reasonable sort. Perhaps she does not agree with her sisters. You will find Mother Giselle tending to the wounded in the hinterlands near Redcliffe. Look for other opportunities to expand the Inquisition's Inquisition's influence while you're there. We need agents to extend our reach beyond this valley, and you're better suited than anyone to recruit them. In the meantime, let's think of other options. I won't leave this all to the Herald. Right. Operations. So the hinterlands. I guess I can't do anything here. <laughs> nope. Have so let's go to the only. Several bards will play for her tomorrow night. We what did you say was last seen in the hinterlands outside Redicate? Tending refugees who fled the fighting between renegade Templars and apostate mages. The latest reports suggest that a vicious struggle between the two groups has spread to the hinterlands, catching the refugees and Monica Cell in the middle. It is vital to protect her if possible and if and restore power to the area. And restore order to re the area. Oh my god. Let's see secrets. Maybe I should have read what that actually did. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, hey, girl. Is that her, I guess, that I need to rescue? Scout the hinterlands. We avoided the fighting as best we could. It is every bit as bad as we'd feared. The apostates are mad, attacking anything that moves, and it appears that the Templars here aren't following anyone's order any longer. We located Mother Giselle and are trying to protect her, but she refuses to leave the refugees until we've ensured their safety. That will be hard to do with our troops to push the apostates and the Templars out of the area. Commander Cullen asked me to make inquiries of Master Dennett, a retired horseman of Redcliffe who lives in. What? Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
easy. Easy, easy. I didn't mean to go back. What? What's our oh. I think my mouse stopped working. This is weird. Oh, here we go. Can I have the coin? Carrying the high title. Wow. Uh, let's go to the hinterlands. <laughs> 